Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about this unusual and very unexpected discovery of an extremely distant galaxy somewhere out there in the universe. The galaxy whose light is about 12 billion years old. But also the unusual shape and very peculiar features of this galaxy that scientists didn't expect to find. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. Now I wanted to start right here because this is a very very famous and very important image known as the Hubble Deep Field image that was created back in 1995. The way that it was created was actually pretty brilliant. Unlike the typical observations that we usually do with telescopes, the scientists decided to look at nothing. They picked a random dark spot, so in this case let's just pick something that doesn't have too many stars, and then they looked at that spot for essentially as long as they could, trying to see what they could possibly find there. In other words, they were looking at complete darkness. And they obviously had no idea what they were going to discover, but with time, as they were looking at the same spot, more and more objects started to appear, eventually revealing the galaxies and all sorts of new worlds that we didn't really know existed. And this dark spot revealed all of these galaxies you see in this simulation right here. Now this was a very groundbreaking achievement because it allowed us to understand that there are a lot more galaxies and a lot more obviously stars and worlds out there than we originally believed. But nevertheless there was still a limit to how far we could see with just the visual observations because even the most powerful telescope is not going to be able to see some of the most distant galaxies. As a matter of fact the galaxy we're talking about today is not even visible in one of these images. It would not be visible simply because it's so far away. So it would actually be its own dark spot in this image from Hubble. Hypothetically, it would be somewhere right here, somewhere next to the invisible dark spot in this darkness. But luckily there are other ways for us to see distant objects, and one of these ways is right here. It's the gravitational lensing effect. This effect relies on the idea that if a massive body moves in front of another body, it will actually magnify its light, sort of acting like a lens. But the visual results of this lensing are normally somewhat distorted, creating a kind of a ring around the object in front of us. In other words, in this image what you're looking at is the object in front causing the lensing effect of a galaxy behind. So this stretched ring, that's the image of the galaxy. But by using this technique, we can definitely see even farther than Hubble could see with its deep field investigations. And that's exactly what the scientists behind the study you can find in the description were able to detect using the European Southern Observatory that allowed them to see the distant galaxy that was actually invisible to us before. This here is the ring, the gravitational lensing ring, created by a distant galaxy known as SPT 0418-47. The ring that started emitting light when the universe was only 1.4 billion years old. And back then, things were extremely chaotic. Everything was sort of colliding, everything was uh, generating a lot of energy, and we actually expected all of these galaxies to be very disorderly, full of energy and full of collisions and all sorts of interactions that would most likely make them appear very different from what they look like today. In other words, back then the galaxies were very unlikely to look anything like this, and were most likely just these irregular shapes of interacting matter that collided and interacted with uh, other galaxies for many billions of years. At least that's the assumption based on all of the observations and of course all of the uh, simulations that were able to reproduce these early galaxies. But surprisingly enough, that's not at all what they observed when they tried to recreate the actual image of this distant galaxy and when they tried to sort of reform the ring into the original shape. In other words, the scientists were able to reconstruct the ring into what the original galaxy probably looked like using a relatively new technique. And here's what this distant galaxy most likely looked like when the universe was only 1.4 billion years old. So this is actually the active reconstruction right now turning the gravitational lens ring into the shape of what the real galaxy probably looked like back then. And to the surprise of the scientists behind this paper, this galaxy seems to possess two very important features that we did not think were possible for these early galaxies. 
And the first of these features is quite apparent in this image. It's the central bulge of the galaxy. We've never really expected these early galaxies to have a bulge because we always believed that it was formed way, way after, as a matter of fact, billions of years after the original creation of first galaxies. However, only a few months ago, another report was investigating a distant galaxy as well and discovered another bulge in that galaxy too. Back then, it was nicknamed the Wolf Disk Galaxy. And interestingly, this new discovery goes even beyond that, because the new observations also suggest that there is a disk that's also spinning around the bulge, with clear indications of one side moving this way and the other side moving the other way. In other words, this seems to be the first ever very distant, very ancient galaxy that's very Milky Way-like in its appearance. It seems to have a bulge and it's also a disk that's spinning. And here is essentially a really good summary of what was discovered and how all of this was done. So the telescopes that you see on the left side of the screen, that's the so-called European Southern Observatory that was looking at this distant galaxy with another galaxy in front of it, and that's how the lensing was formed. And the ring was then reconstructed to look like the original image that you see right here. And the study goes into a little bit more detail about the disk itself as well, including the observations of how fast one side is moving compared to the other side. And here you can see this is about 200 kilometers per second in velocity. And also indicates that the activity inside the middle here, inside the bulge, is a lot more hectic and a lot more active as we would usually expect in a typical galactic bulge because the stars here don't just move side to side, they also move up and down and in all sorts of different directions. And so this is a brilliant observation and of course a reconstruction of the ring into the galactic disk that allows us to understand how early certain features in different galaxies developed and of course, well, technically raises more questions because we still don't really understand how such an early galaxy could have formed so early in the existence of the universe. We kind of expect these galaxies to become more apparent billions of years after. And most of these bulges, the typical galactic bulges today, we believe may have formed within the last 8 billion years. So since this galaxy is at least 4 billion years older, it does present us with a new mystery to solve. Although this could be also something that's usually referred to as the pseudo-bulge, so it's not a true bulge, but we still have no idea how this could have formed so early either. And so I guess this is just another new mystery that we need to try to solve. But it's important to understand that this galaxy is not going to evolve into something that's going to appear like Milky Way. Despite appearing orderly right now, this galaxy is still going to receive a lot more collisions and will most likely also produce a lot more stars because right now this is an extremely active galaxy. And so the current expectation is that it's going to become a typical elliptical galaxy similar to the one you see here, but depending on how much mass it absorbs, it could also become one of the more massive elliptical galaxies like the famous IC1101 that you see here or the even more famous by now M87 galaxy that you see where we were able to take a picture of a black hole. And so even though right now it appears to be a galaxy very similar in mass and of course in appearance to the Milky Way galaxy with maybe one exception of being spiral arms because we don't really know if it has any spiral arms it still will change with time to be more similar to the elliptical galaxies. And because it's currently producing a lot of stars, around 350 masses of sun per year, and because it's already able to have these unusual orderly formations, it's expected that this will become a giant elliptical galaxy in the future. But that doesn't change the fact that the most exciting part of all of this is of course the discovery itself. Seeing a galaxy so far, far away, and on top of that using the brilliant technique of gravitational lensing and then reconstructing the ring that's produced turning it into the original shape is also quite mind-blowing. And altogether, this is actually a brilliant study, allowing us to understand the early universe and early galaxies to a completely new level that we didn't really know about before. But overall, this is just the beginning. Once the technique improves and once the scientists are able to collect even more data about this galaxy or about other gravitationally lens galaxies, we'll hopefully be able to understand the beginning of the universe even better. Until then though, that's all I wanted to mention, so check out the study in the description below, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Also, maybe support this channel on Patreon, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt that you can find in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.